Hey guys, what's going on today? I wanted to give you guys a quick little video of how to take your Instagram page and load it into Photoshop so that you can make a creative grid, organizing and playing around with your photos. Okay, so what we need to do is create a new document. Let's name this Instagram. And we're gonna put this in pixels and we're gonna do 3240 by 3240. You wanna make a square for this. So click on create. Now, I want to get this in here. I have pre-selected photos already. That's what's on the side over here that you're seeing the whole time. Okay, so now we need to divide this box into little boxes. So how we're gonna do that is we're going to go to View, New Guide Layout, right here, New Guide Layout. And from there, you're going to click on custom, uh, sorry, columns and rows. And you're gonna put three by three because you want this to be evenly cut. And you're going to click on okay. Now we need to make this into slices. So you're going to need to go into view and then show, and then you're gonna click here on slices. From there, there is your um, slices tool. It should be in with your crop tool and everything like that. You're gonna click on the slice tool and you're just gonna go over where you need slices to be made. And then click up here on this little envelope box, right click, divide the slices. And you're gonna wanna divide horizontally and divide vertically three by three once again. And now everything is in a little slice. From there, you can drag and drop your photos or you can put your photos in however you want. Everybody um, uses Photoshop in different ways. I like to do this in a really, probably not the best way, but this is the way that I like to do it. So what I'm gonna do is drag and drop these in. I will fast forward the part from now. So once you have all your photos sized to different sizes that you, you like, you can start to play with them like a collage, uh, like figure out where you want images to go. You can put a color in the background. You can make anything you want with this really if you kind of have an idea how to use Photoshop already, of course. And yeah, so you can just play around, get it how you need it to look. And then there is one final step to exporting these so that you can use them instantly for your Instagram. I will fast forward this part once again. Once you have a layout made, all you need to do is go to export, save for web, click on the original. You can play around here and find out what works best for you. When you zoom out, look, all of your photos are there and they're divided into little boxes. Then you just click, click save, create a new folder for them, and then they will save in there. And then you can airdrop them to your phone or however you upload to Instagram. So enjoy that. And I hope you get a feeling for how to make your own creative grid for Instagram. I hope that video was helpful for you. And yeah, so hit the bell, subscribe to this channel, show us some love and see you in the next video. Bye guys.